good evening, whatever it is, what time it is, I don't care wherever you're at, but hello from Trav's Travel Channel, and on today's episode, we're going to talk about trucking a little bit more. Um, what I want to talk about is this current load I'm on is a multi-stop trip, which Stay I absolutely do not like multi-stop trips, especially ones like this one where I had to deliver at 4 a.m. 5 a.m. this morning and then I also have to deliver 4 a.m. tomorrow morning which means my clock started at 1 a.m. this morning and honestly I don't like driving at night but I do it if I have to. Now I'm going to be stopping at a pilot in Richfield, Ohio today for my 10 hour break. I should be there right around 12.30 which I'm not a night person and that's going to put me up at around 10.30 tonight. I really don't like driving that, you know, driving like that at night. But in order to get these loads done as truck drivers, sometimes we have to do that. And that's one of the reasons why I am looking at getting out of this industry and going more towards... Um, flying airplanes, airliners, like I've been wanting to do, like I've been showing you guys that I've been doing. Um, that's my main hobby right there, and that's what I'm really looking forward to. I know after this load, though, they should be working me back towards home or uh, my home time, so that way I can get that flight checked out for you guys. And I have something more important on the 29th, it's my mother's birthday, and I always like to be home for her birthday and for, um, well, for the major, one of the major holidays, which is the main, the biggest holiday of all, which we all know is Christmas. I make sure I'm always home for Christmas. I've spent too many years out here on the road during Christmas Eve and Christmas away from family, and I gotten to the point now where I just don't want to do that anymore. It's too much on me. It's too hard on my family. You know, especially with everything that's going on in, you know, currently with all the situation, the violence and everything. I just, I don't want to be out here on the road anymore. I want to get away from it completely. Which, you know, some people they want to be out here on the road and then with me you know I've done this for almost 20 years I have my CDL well actually I've had my CDL since February 1st 2001 so going on 19 years it's almost 20 years right there and you know I've been there and done that I've seen everything I want to move on and go into a, another career which you know my career choice is becoming an airline pilot and that's something that I have a real passion for, um, a real interest. I'm always listening to videos and stuff like that, and watching videos for you know training purposes on the 737, 800, 900, and even on the 737 Max, which we all know is still grounded. But you know that's an issue with Boeing, and they're working on it. Um, so all in all, I'm going to enjoy. It rest of this drive and I will see y'all in the next episode. Alright, this is a condition or a, actually a continuation from yesterday's video that I did. Um, I know how I complained about going to bed for PA when I kind of stuck me in the ass because my truck ended up having a problem with the leveling valve and I spent a good portion of my day yesterday with my truck in the shop from 1 p.m until almost, I'll say 7.30, 8 p.m., excuse me, 8 p.m., because one, the TA had no place to sit, and so I had to sit outside and that made me up for 18 hours. And by the time that that was done, I, I was toast. Um, they did swap loads with me. I am taking a load currently right now to Twinsburg, Ohio. They had another driver last night come down and drop me off this load. And funny thing about that is I had met this driver back on my cruise on the breakaway, which you guys have all seen the videos that I did on the um, breakaway. 
he was actually the cab driver that I had that had picked me and some friends up to take us back to our ship. And it was interesting that he actually remembered us. I thought that was pretty cool. And it just goes to show, you know, how small of a world that we actually have. So, you know, I thought that was kind of neat. I got his load, he took my load, and I'm on one, like I said, I'm on my way to deliver this load to Twinsburg, Ohio, and they should have a pre-plan for me sometime today, working me back towards home for home time. So, until the next episode, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button or contact me at the following links.